morning everyone and uh, for today's morning devotion I'm going to reflect on what is our purpose in life anyway and how do we know that we're following uh, God's will in our life now as Christians we have this eternal destiny uh, of eternal life we have the destiny of eternal life with uh, with our Heavenly Father uh, and that is our final uh, destiny however what is our destiny in life on earth um, as in general, um, as Christians, we all are unique uh, beings and we have unique gifts and talents that we have been blessed with. Now, I think what is, what is very challenging for all of us is to precisely identifying what is it that God wants us to do with those gifts and the talents that we have and what is His will in our life. Now, um, as we all have our unique sphere, spheres of influence, I think it uh, it is that more important for us to understand what is our destiny. So one of our one of one of the one of our primary destinies in life on earth is to reflect, um, is to show God's love to the world. You know, and part of our purpose as believers is to express God's love to the absolutely love uh, starving world that we live in today. Now. As Christians, we ought to uh, believe and be confident and know that God loves us. And, you know, His love is infinite, it is unconditional. And uh, there is nothing that you and I can do that can increase God's love for us because He already loves us uh, infinitely and unconditionally. We know that God's love does not change, right? God's love does not waver, it does not wane, it does not wax away. As we read in James uh, 1, chapter 1, verse 17, there is no variation or shadow of turning with God's love. Love is part of His unchanging nature. Amazing. We all know that God's love is unconditional. God loves us so much that uh, He will never love us. Uh, He'll never love you or us, even though we are far from perfect. So no matter, uh, no matter uh, what we do and no matter who we are we still have his son Jesus Christ who died for us and um, you know nothing that you or I can do can increase God's love uh, for us because he already loves us infinitely now also when we look at God's love for us you know it is because he loves us he's not going to leave us where we are his desire is that we may that we grow closer and closer to him as he continues to conform us uh, to the image of his son Jesus Christ. His desire is that we would uh, grow more intimate and stronger in our relationship with him. He's never going to leave us. And so our primary response to God's love would be uh, to grow in our ability to receive God's love and grow in our ability to express God's love. Because you know, each and every one of uh, us needs to ensure that the people around us and people uh, in our sphere of influence are able um, to re are able to experience God's unconditional and infinite love for us. And especially uh, in in difficult times, you know, in the darkest hours, love is what will shine through. I'm going to finally close with this uh, with 1 John chapter 4, verse 19 to 21, which says, We love him because he first loved us. If someone says, I love God and hates his brother, he's a liar. For he who does not love his brother, whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not seen? And this commandment we have from him, that he who loves God must love his brother also. Amen. So, uh, hope that was helpful. Uh, stay blessed. Have a wonderful week. Thank you.